Uh, I've been here a long, long time, and I've never seen anything, anything like this. All eyes were on Josh Allen and the city of Laramie at Wyoming's NFL Pro Day. But the biggest takeaway from this event will not be how far Allen could throw, but how a moment in the spotlight will leave a lasting impression on the Cowboy program. Over 70 credentialed media members and representatives for more than 15 NFL teams lined the walls of Wyoming's indoor practice facility to witness Josh Allen firsthand. Obviously coming out here being in an element that I've known, practicing here a bunch, being around my teammates that I've been around for the last four years, uh, there was a sense of, you know, comfortableness and uh, yeah, I definitely felt a little more relaxed here. The six foot five, 233 pound QB threw for just over 30 minutes, impressing the likes of many who have seen what it takes to make it in the pros. Josh is the strongest I've ever seen. Um, I played with my brother in his prime, who a lot of people said would be the number one pick in any draft. Uh, I grew up with Jamarcus Russell. I played with Jay Cutler for two years. Um, he has the ability to create more energy with the football in his hands than anything I've ever seen. You look at the Browns at one, the Bills possibly moving into that number two spot, the Jets picking at three. I think there's a really good chance that Josh Allen is drafted in the first three picks. But while the lights and cameras were focused on the projected first round pick, Wyoming head coach Craig Bull feels that Allen's impact will outlive the day's events. You know, it's a, it's a special day. I think our program is certainly transitioning. Uh, you know, our, our real main goal is to take Cowboy football back to national prominence. Well, the biggest thing is, is you're seeing, uh, we have ESPN over here cutting live. You have the NFL network over here. You have all these NFL teams in. Uh, this is a big day. Josh performed well, as did all the players. And so it just once again gets the Wyoming name out and that's what's important for us. Uh, I, I think that you always have to think conference wide when something like this happens. That this is uh, a Wyoming thing, but this is a Mountain West thing. And, and uh, I think that's uh, very good for all of us. And uh, we're happy that we're uh, able to contribute a little. For a program that took a chance on Allen out of junior college, he's humbled to be able to put the University of Wyoming in national headlines. It's awesome. And that's kind of why we actually moved the pro day up a little bit because we wanted you know, NFL Network and um, ESPN to kind of run what we got here, show some of our other guys. Gave a lot of, uh, you know, um, media attention to the University of Wyoming and, you know, they've given a lot to me. So I'm um, just blessed to be in a position where I can help give back and help get my teammates noticed because obviously there's a lot of people here, a lot of scouts, and uh, we had some guys perform really well today, so I'm proud for them. Well, he's left, first of all, a, a huge stamp on Cowboy football. And, and our program, just like today, has transitioned from being somewhat regional. And our state is really important. People have great uh, pride uh, in the Cowboys. But we have Cowboy fans all across the country now. They watched our games. Today's event uh, certainly changed the lay of the land. I know there's people coming to our games next year that were never Cowboy fans, but they like the brand of football that we're playing. I think it's elevated our program and put it on a national stage. And with the nation watching, Allen put on a show-stopping performance, and the experts feel they saw everything they needed to see from the NFL prospect. Let me put it this way. Uh, I do the Philadelphia Eagles preseason games. I live in Philadelphia. I was at Carson Wentz's pro day. I am a huge Carson Wentz fan, and they happen to have the same head coach, so they're coming out of a similar system. So I was at Carson's pro day, and what I would say, with all due respect, is that Josh has a bigger arm, and he's a better athlete. And by the way, Carson has a big arm and he's a great athlete. So to put it in perspective, the pro day, the overwhelming physical nature of Josh Allen is that. It's hard to have a much better pro day than he had. I mean, he was to see that arm strength and then finally com combined with consistent accuracy. That's that's what everyone came out here from the top 10 teams for really wanted to see. It's still a whirlwind, absolutely. I mean, you know, I'm blessed to be able to sit in the rooms with these NFL execs and coaches and get to talk football with some of the greatest minds in the, in the game of football. So, um, you know, I was in junior college a few years ago and I'm out here living my dream and my family's out here getting to see me do it. So, um, you know, couldn't be more blessed. The NFL Draft will be held at AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas, beginning on Thursday, April 26th. In Laramie, Wyoming, I'm Cassie Soto for the Mountain West Network.